Now let's start getting better at some backside sets. Backside sets are really difficult because it's hard to see that ball go, and it's hard to get a sense for whether you made a good set or not, unless the hitter absolutely crushes the ball. It's really tempting as a setter to peek at your ball when you set it, but you need to take lots of practice reps and get a lot of confidence knowing that when it leaves your hand, you made your best effort, your best contact, and it's gonna have the best location when it gets there. So backside setting is different in a couple principal ways. The first way is you have to make sure that you're maintaining what we call a neutral body position. A lot of setters, when they go to make a backside set, not only do they want to peek after they make contact, but before they make contact, they like to arch their back. When they arch their back by dipping their shoulders and bringing their chin back, they really give away their set. And if I'm a blocker on the other side of the net and I see her arch her back before contact, it lets me know that I can start cheating this way to come and block and you want to disguise your intent for your location to set every single time. So a neutral body is important. So we're going to really make sure when we're working on backside sets that we start the same, that we prepare the same before contact, and that we look the same right through contact. So the biggest difference for a backside set, just like we did for a back one, is that the hands are going to start high and finish high, but they're going to move slightly back to on top of your head. So they start from your forehead and move slightly back to on top of your head. So that motion without the ball looks like this, to the forehead and then to on top of the head. So again, she's in a ready to the forehead and then to on top of the head. Notice that her arms don't extend super long. She doesn't rotate her shoulders open to take a peek at the ball. She doesn't dip her head way back to make that set. It's not necessary. This is a very short distance that the ball has to travel from here to the backside set. So she's going to make sure that she uses all wrists and hands and just finishes with that hands high. So let's take a look at a couple of balls to the backside set. These sets are what we'd call a slide tempo. They're fairly low and fast, so they operate like a quick set or a first tempo set. So you can see that she has very efficient and effective mechanics. She doesn't have a lot of extra movement. She doesn't have big exaggerated body movement, and she's staying with a neutral body before contact. Great set. Even on that last rep, as she came down to her knees to get that ball, she knew that it was important if she wanted to make that set to get the ball 12 inches above her forehead and keep those hands in a neutral body position. That's a really effective set because it's so deceptive. A lot of players, a lot of blockers on the other side of the net will look at a setter come down to her knees like that and actually think she's going to set it out the other direction. So this is a great set to have and you want to make sure that you're maintaining that deception by having a neutral body, good high hands, and then releasing with the ball just with your hands on top of your head.